Hi guys, um, join me how I, um, this website, let's name this my website here, um, I'm going to recreate this, or probably not, I'll just migrate the old contents to my personal website, or personal blog, because it doesn't, um, looks like a shit right now. So maybe this content will be forwarded to my personal site and I'll be publishing more about um, money making strategies here based on my contents from YouTube later on. So. But first, I'll try to fix this first um, because it's been a while. I've been busy with all the business um, business stuff. So I'll be I'll be working on reorganizing reorganizing my stuff here on my website, and we'll see if. Um, if it would work or maybe if it takes longer than I expected to fix this then maybe I'll replace this with uh, another a script instead of WordPress to make it easier to manage and we'll see I'll be updating you guys but yeah you are welcome to check out how I fixed some issues here, replaced plugins and everything else. And please do feel at home. Um, it may it may take some time. I'll leave uh, the video open so that you can also see what or how it looks like when you reorganize or replace old plugins or stuff which I'll be I'll be sharing with you why I am using this new tools or plugins uh, and I will also show here in this video why or how I search, how I decide, and everything else about um, fixing the issues currently on my website. In case you're you're encountering this issue on, right now at the moment, please you have you be you be guided with what I'll be doing. I actually don't have a plan about this one. We'll just see how it goes. And by the way, thank you for for dropping by. And let's start. Okay. So let's see here. This is probably the Gutenberg. Um, or the new editor here. I, I'm not really a fan about this one because it's confusing, which is why I always install um the classic what's this? The classic editor because I'm I'm an oldie. I've been um I've stopped working with WordPress. Actually not not really stopped. Um my team though is working with WordPress for me. I've been busy with supporting or managing servers probably um, probably one year already um, because I cannot find somebody that I can trust enough to work with uh, this um, sensitive data within the servers so and my team is i mean mostly of them are 
good at website stuff which is why I signed them to this stuff and also virtual assistants so for me I've been I've been um, out or I've I've not used WordPress since then which is why some of the some of the plugins here are outdated already but I've I've actually linked this to my, my our main WP um, WordPress manager which is why the free plugins here are are updated regularly and I have also someone who is checking out maintaining our client sites so it should be okay but since this is my personal site I don't give access to this and just do some do the edits or update it if I want to on my own which is why I'm doing it right now after a few months or maybe year over a year now by now so now um, before I have used some um, what is that cloud cloudinary this this is the this is the stuff cloudinary this is I believe if I'm not mistaken um, uh, an image CDN which is a bit oops which is a bit this one so as you can see um, it's been a while now it, they, they have they have um, change their logo before it's it it has a colored one with yellow stuff something like that now they have a good site I think it's built with DP already or am I or maybe I'm just not in the right site but I think it's the right one unleash full potential of your media I think this is the right site but I just it's just completely different from before now it's something like it's looks like modern not like classic as before so um, so this is what I'll be um, replacing it instead of cloudinary because it's um, j just my opinion though it's just my opinion um, it's it's a bit tricky to set set it up whereas uh, versus this one I've used this for some of my client sites um, but not haven't yet updated my own but I've used this on my main business which is a web hosting business and web design and this is a great tool and they are using CloudFront CDN which is a product of AWS and it's I believe the most um, the most fast CDN on the web to my knowledge but you can correct me though let me know in the let me know your thoughts so I can have a learning experience as well later on so let's install this and by the way to fix the issues I'm using Elementor by the way uh, and featured as a featured URL something like that plugin I really um, I really forgot it already so here before um, uh, seconds earlier I only can see this feature image here and then others are completely blank like this one now what you want to do to fix the issue I mean what I did 
based on my experience before this plugin I'm using this plugin because you can um it's easier for me let, let's say for example I'm I'm using my photos application photos account from Google I I like it because I can just um plug the URL to show the featured image I don't have to upload it into my server or into my website so I I am saving a few seconds of of time or maybe minutes to saving and uploading photos I would like to use for each of this um, blog or article, which is why I'm using featured. What is that again? Um, let's see here. Featured image from URL but uh, just a disclaimer here sometimes this plugin has uh has a few issues like something like this uh, wait something like this sometimes it disappeared disappear if you don't um check your site um usually like like mine um, another thing, if you update the plugin, sometimes it breaks, which is why it is, um, I really recommend to use this plugin only if you're, if you're a tech surveyor, you're, you have a patient to work with them, although it's free, and you can contact them anytime, they are responsive though. The developers of this plugin is very responsive via email and you can also of course contact them in the WordPress forum I've been getting in touch with them even if I'm just using a free I'm just using their plugin for free and I think they're cool but the plugin sometimes really breaks my site like this one so so again let's see again here let's activate this and this is an issue with my um, with Cloudflare and then just update this one so again to fix the the photos that are not showing you just go to your post and then something something like this let's say for example um, go here click on it and then just update it just hit update that's what I did to to let the photos show up again but we still have things to work on this one I think this is a this is this is an issue with Elementor because I have an outdated Elementor plugin I will be we need to I mean I will need to I will try to upload a newer version Let's see if it works, by the way. Okay, so, eight. Let's update this again. And then this is the optimal. This is the image CDN that I am using for, I am using now for my clients. So let's see, I have, uh, if, you, if, if this is the first time you are working with this or you are using this plugin you have to register and I think it's automated or else you can just get your API key and then plug it in here and for me I already have one so I'll just connect my API if this is right I'm not sure though so let's see if it would connect it should show here connected if it did 
so it's connected so that's that's correct I'll just blur the API later on so you guys can't connect to my <laughs> to my account hopefully you don't but let's see here now it's updated it should be showing already and also let's update this one as well one by one we will update this this is an issue with cloudflare connecting to my server because if i i have a small server which is why it cannot cope up with updating all of this one with huge processes so as you can see it is automatic you don't have to um, you don't have to go to auto to cloudinary and set up your bucket whatsoever there it's a bit confusing but their service though is is a good one but I like I like the easy setup something like the optimal and the huge advantage is that they are using CloudFront. I'm not sure with Cloudinary, but the the only thing I like is that it is an easy setup for me. Okay. You can see here there's all the... I'll just go ahead here later on. I'll check my other sites what I did to what what is the standard settings I have used so that I don't have to research again what to to do here so let's see the group okay so let's exit on it uh, maybe we can also do check it's loading or it's now starting to optimize automatically your images as you can see it's it's a great plugin enable image replacement replace all image urls from your site yeah this is uh, this is what cdn do it replaces your the url from the i mean the url of your images since it's an image cdn um correct me if i'm wrong so that it helps you load from a different or an external source instead of your own server and then scale images lazy load we we will generate images based on your visitor screen using javascript so i think um the web rocket is already doing that but i oh no i, I think i have disabled it but I will see from my other site if I have enabled this but I'll enable I'll just keep it as is for now because I think they're they're they know what they are doing enable error diagnosis this is only if you're having an issue if you want to clear the cache this is what I like you can just clear the cache from the your dashboard uh, versus the shift cdn i believe you cannot i'm not sure though now but when i first use it you have to go to their site login to your dashboard and then that's the only way you can clear the cache i'm not sure right now because i've already i'm as as i told before I, i've been i've been not using wordpress for quite some time and then also i've used as well um the jet jetpack 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 i believe let's see i i i'm saying a lot of bullshit here so sorry guys bear with me jetpack.com by wordpress so this is also a good cdn for they they have a lot of features but um they have the the one thing that i like is the cdn the image optimization image and i believe they also offer js i'm not really sure i forgot but you can check it out guys if they still do 
they still offer that one but i've used this for a while as well before shift cdn i've used it with cloudflare and the only issue is that you can there's no option for you to clear the cache which is why i shifted into the new the new um technology shift cdn it worked it worked for me for a while but the issue i've encountered with it is that when they update you have to reinstall and something like that you have to go to the dashboards clear the cache there and then you reinstall the the a new setup whatsoever which is a bit a bit painful for me because it breaks let's say for example if they update and you you have not you are not um usually checking out your site because you're you're dependent on the system manager i am using main wp by the way and it's because my it's my personal site i'm i'm not ju i'm not that active i only focus on um on my clients and i've assigned some people to work uh, or to monitor it in case there's a huge um, update from wordpress but for my personal sites not a business site just a personal blog site where i dump um any any crazy ideas i can i can think of which is why i don't really have time to monitor it all the time and then as you can see here um the main issue with as told earlier the main issue with the shift cdn is that um i'll have they have a different they always have a different type or setup when you update the when they update their plugin it's not it's not that it's not like other plugin that you just updated here from the dashboard sometimes you have to they will email you and then you will have to um, remove the old plugin because it will break your site after you have updated uh, a new wordpress core whatsoever and it's a painful for me to do it with over a hundred sites already which is why i do not recommend it and until i decided to search um from the from a lot of influencers out there so and tested all of the all of the best plugins in regards to cdn in regards to the alternative of dimension cd uh, dimension plugins image cdn earlier so i found optimal is the best the best one for me at the moment maybe there's there are new there are new um technology or there are new plugins already i will check it out later on when i get when after all the stuff that i'll be fixing with my personal site so let's see again here let's see image enable network base optimization uh, provides an option to take a downgrade the image quality hmm. image quality cropping laser load so cloud integration enable cloud library browsing allow access from the site to all images from your allow access from the site to all images from your optimal okay enable offloading image offload your new images automatically to optimal cloud you will no longer store them in your server and you can restore them back anytime okay so i think this means that if they replaces your server image they will store the original image to their server so that you can restore it 
um, anytime you want in case you're not happy or satisfied with the result of their optimization um, let me know if 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 I'm wrong so we learn from we are we are learning from all this um, all this stuff here so I think don't have to save it it automatically save so that's that that's how that's how easy it is to set up optimal you just you just plug in your your API and that's it you don't have to uh, unless you're you're new you 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 don't have an account then you you're gonna have to register but I, I think it's it's just a quick registration you don't have to set up things like the other plugins which is a great way to to use for your web web design business or website maintenance business so let's exit on it because we're done there and I think I've already updated this but we will try to do it again I hope I'm not boring you guys Exit now. Update this one again here. So let's update this again. <coughs> this is well, I think it's already updated. So let's exit on it. And let's try to check the result of our um, first basic, basic um, repair. Retrieval shooting on our expectation for this update or the the basic triple shooting is that the images should show already for all of this for all the archives because earlier the only one is the only one showing is the first the first article or the first blog so this one it's not showing here so let's open this up and edit and then number three page three by the way this is this is effect guys is you can do that or you can Enable that through Cloudflare. Just register for a free account and go to apps. And um, I will show you later on, or else, um, let me know if you want a video to set it up so I can make it for you. Okay, so let's edit the post here and let's re update. So as you can see, the images are showing now. So the last thing we need to, not really last, the next thing is to fix this um, overlap something, I don't know. And then this as well. So let's see. So let's try to update this one. And go back to our... blog post archive I think it's in the page 2 <laughs> as told earlier this is the only one that is showing 
the others are not it's it's just something like this so let's see if the second one is showing okay so it's really um, broken so it's here so this should be the maybe let's just remove it instead and let's go to what is this hmm. the featured URL is not working again so let's first update it I guess maybe I'll just I'll just um, use the the native featured image uploading it into my media files and not anymore use the this one featured image web because this is making this is always having an issue each time it updates or rarely it doesn't it won't give you an issue within three months I don't want to actually discourage you guys I like the idea though um, adding a, a URL image only but with this with the issues that is giving me by this plugin it, it, it is it is a bit tricky it's not sustainable which is why I like using DV themes from Elegant Themes DV theme because they have a native feature. I'm not sure now. I think they still have that that you can just add um, URL to as a feature image. You don't have to install anything. It is um, it is built-in feature of their theme. Um, DV theme is is actually what I'm using for my new clients and also for my website. I have used Elementor from from the old design and. I mean my business website and then when I when I realized that DV is a bit although it's still new that time but due to of course the price and all the reviews and I've tested it myself as well that is why I migrated even though it's really painful to migrate from Elementor to an or from another theme, it's like you are rebuilding a new website. Don't try to, um, I would suggest you don't try to import um, your content when you are migrating to another theme, but instead, um, do it the native way, do it. Um, by recreating your website instead because it's really painful it will only take you longer than you can when you recreate your website instead so why is this hmm. Still not working. Let's try to maybe clear the cache here.
let's try to remove and encase the featured the featured plugin will show um, I guess it won't show I'm not sure what's happening but let's see what we can do about it or maybe let's try to find oops okay let's clear the cache Let's try to maybe disable or find something similar. Featured image URL for WordPress 2001. This is the one, but it gives me a lot of issues. <clears throat> Let's try it. Maybe there's already others that are five months. Okay. Let's see the reviews. Thank you for this. I had a weird problem with images on my site and this was excellent workaround. Save me a lot of frustration. Super easy setting. Sure, so okay, let's try this instead. Okay, so first thing is that we have to, we will gonna have to check out all the images from my site. Okay. Maybe let's download this instead first. Download and then let's go here. Let's go to my site here. Um, here is the plugins. Um, first, we need to. Check this one. It's already working by the way, but it's not using the the featured URL. I, I don't know why. A bug maybe which is why we will try to use another another alternative which is new I believe oops so we are in page 2 now so it's showing right now okay as you can see as I've told you just have to hit update in case that happens to you so Let's say, for example, you're using that plugin, and then it, uh, um, one, um, and then one day it disappeared. It it will look like this, like this one without this image here. Then all you have to do is open it, and then edit it, and then hit the update. It should show. I am not sure why, but that's. Um, that's the troubleshooting or the basic troubleshooting for that 
based on my experience from using this plugin um, for a while now. In okay, so let now let's tr let's try to um, copy the links for all the all the URLs. Gosh, we're gonna have to go to the post. All posts. And let's do it from here because my site is a, a bit buggy. We're gonna have to download the, the latest um, Elementor to update. Let me see, is this a premium one? Okay, so Pro. So I'll have to download a new one. <sighs> but, okay, so first we need to Okay, so I am using um, the native featured image upload here, so you don't need to copy the URL from there, from that post, which is why probably it's it's showing, it's not having issues. Also, this one, why is that? Earlier, it is using um, the URL base. There's one too. Okay. I'm confused right now. It's not using the featured featured image from URL. Why is that? What's going on? Let's see the... But it's... But if you um, copy the, the URL, it's linked to my Google. So this is interesting. So let's probably just copy the URL from there instead. So that we don't lose it. Okay, so let's go here and then, oh, not for this because it's using my server. So let's probably um, open a new, so, okay, so let's check this one. Happy birthday to me. Let's right click and copy the image and paste it there. So it's using um, the Google. And then let's copy the title, the post title, so that we know that this is the one. Okay. That's it. And let's go to another post. Okay, so this is the other post here. So as you can see guys, um, it will really be painful if you use this plugin because if you get some issues you and you have a lot of articles then 
that would be the end of you. I'm sorry, but... That would be it. Let's see. And also this one. No matter what I do, all I think about is you. Gosh. So this is it. Where am I? Okay, so I'm done with that. So this is the next one. I think we're done here. This is the last two articles, but if ever you're working on this as well, and then you have over 100 articles, then you are doomed, man. You are doomed.
Oops, I missed the other one. We belong together. We belong together. I think we're done here. So let's exit and now disable this fucking shit. Let's try the other alternative. Hopefully it's working well. Let's see. Let's see here. Let's just drag this one and install. Haven't used this yet, but we'll see if it if it's um if really is easy versus the old one. Hopefully it is, and let's find any new section here. Still loading. I have a bad server. Okay, let's refresh. In case it will um, show any section, no section. Okay, so what will happen here? Let's try to find something featured. So it's here, it's in the settings. Let's check it out. Okay, disable post type email hmm. enable display resize infer image you need jetpack plugin installed and connected to enable this image okay so I don't want jetpack up jetpack sorry disable post type so let's not disable it so let's try to check what will happen to our post here Let's check by the way first. All our images should now disappear. It did not disappear. Let's refresh first. I don't know why, but let's see what happened here. Or maybe the old plugin migrated our images to the local, to our local media. Let's see. Because if they did, then they are, they really are a good plugin. So I cannot see it here. We belong together. Dun, 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 dun. So as you can see, there's no trace of that image. Nothing. Click the image to edit or update. I'm not sure what's happening here. Let's 
it's not showing the image so probably we need to really um, add start adding the image which is luckily we have saved it here yippee I mean yippee okay so let's find this let's start with this one and then copy by the way guys if you want the if, if you want to know how I I do this um, I enable Google Photos to share or to use as my featured image by URL link let me know so that I can make a video for you and oh as you can see here um, this plugin the new plugin that we have installed versus the old one which is featured rich the the nice thing about the old one is that it automatically um, add alt text based on the title of the the post but for this it doesn't so you will gonna have to add it on your own but that's fine as long as it doesn't break your site each time it updates or WordPress update comes it really sucks so let's see for this other one here hopefully it it really would work for us because if not the next thing we want to do is to up update our theme we belong together oops I think it made it worse Let's try to clear the cache first. Post update. Happy birthday to me. Conquer all your fears. Conquer all your fears. Let's see here. Oops. The magic dragon. Maybe let's try to remove this as well. So it won't conflict. Maybe that's the reason why it is conflicting. Let's remove it. And update. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see again. Cross finger, or maybe we need to clear the cache and maybe also we need to disable some the cache plugins while we are working on this, right? WP rocket true, 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 true. Okay, let's disable Still didn't work Let's try another way here also we will Disable the ones that we don't need um, in case it is it is conflicting any. I'm sent to start since the huge image uploads. Okay, um, what else here? What else? What else? What else? Okay, so let's deactivate this once. 
Jesus. Okay, so I think it gotten worse. Let's go first to um, our cloud flare and enable development mode. Let's enable it so we don't have to to deal with cash anymore while we are working on on this project or in this fix here and then let's go ahead and clear the cache everything for this domain so let's also refresh try to check what's going on maybe oh or maybe um the elementor don't recognize the new plugin so let's try if if they can recognize it by now or probably we'll try to update elementor first before we do that so Give me a bit. Let's go to our add new. So let's here is this. Okay. So what I'm about to do guys is that since this is my personal website only I will not use a licensed product for this but I highly recommend you do so especially when you are when you're not that that techy you don't know how to protect your server or your site and Especially when you are, when you're, when a website, when the purpose of your website is to make money or to have a business, or if you want to sell it to a client or you're you're managing your client's website, I would really, and or highly recommend, extremely recommend to use a licensed product. But this. In the following um, in the following clips, I will show you how you can safely find um, a GP G -A -G -N -U. I'm not really sure though. Let's let's just um, Elementor Pro GPL. Okay, so GPL is I'm not really I have no knowledge actually to provide an accurate um, information but it's just something like it's just something like a copy that they have licensed so that everyone can use it at their own risk something like that but you can of course correct me um, from the on the comments let me know how how can we provide an accurate information about the GPL products but for me it's just something like a null it's a it's a copy you have you have um, the, the ones that are that are creating this ones they nulled the activation and then use it distribute distribute it and then license it with GPL something license so 
so I'm not really sure though but we will use a GPL product or a node one but I will show you how you can safely um, take a node product and use it safely into your website so but as told earlier I do not recommend you use this to any um, production site business especially to your clients please please guys use the license ones from the, your the direct developer but if it is only a hobby site there's no sensitive um, there's no sensitive information um, in here so you can use it at your own risk but I would recommend you to follow my guide how you can safely use a node product or a GPL um, software so let's go ahead and copy this and then paste it free download so let's try let's first let's first check the version so what is the the latest version of that's probably latest or maybe let's just add um, 2001 at the time I am recording this video this is the date so as you can see here it's already 3.22 version while I am still using the version 2 okay it's been a while though so let's try here okay so let's check this out all features activated Genesis for okay it's May 7 so it's still so a week ago so let's see if we can do this recommend plugin we will also download this later free download latest version so here is first of all open extracted there's an installation guide here first of all open extracted download zip file now we will get to files the free one to activate pro go to wordpress license enter this as license key only if it is not already activated if you want to use pre-made templates or blocks you must create a free account install so just um, read this guys but we only really need this one first install then okay so they're saying that if you want to use the Elementor Pro you have to install the free zip file alongside with the pro the pro ver the pro um node here that they are, are giving us and in if you want to use the elementor pro um layouts or the templates that elementor provides when you are using or when you have a license of elementor pro then you you're gonna have to follow this instruction here that you need to log into the official website and whatsoever just just um probably check this out i will i will put a link where you can where you can read this one easily to our site and recommended theme of course and by the way um, for the for the DV theme I have a license for for this for those who wants a free license for of DV then let me know I will also add uh, this link where you can you can download it for free okay as a as a thank you for watching my videos okay so let's see here so now let's go ahead and and try to let's try to um, download this one 
I will also add the file guys and pay attention to what I am doing right now so that you can you have a guide to download a safe copy of using null products okay you will also download this one excuse me free download stable free um, also this one I will download there will be rocket Okay, so we have downloaded already um, Elementor Pro Pack. So the next thing you want to do is you go to virus, virustotal.com. Okay, it will show this one. Don't worry about the link. I will add it in the description. Don't worry about that. I will create a blog, a whole blog post of how I did all this stuff all the the necessary details from this video don't worry about that i will link it before i upload this video so so the next thing you have to go to this website and then upload the files or the not the null pro the null files that you have uploaded this will help you detect whatever virus or um, malicious script or changes to this to this plugin or module this will help you see if you can install it or not so as you can see there is zero we can also try to reanalyze it and always do this guys okay you can also by the way um, just copy the link here the one that for the download for downloading the file you can copy it and then and then instead of uploading you can paste the link I believe let's probably check As you can see here just click on this instead of the file and then paste the link make sure you paste the link where you are where the direct download is okay so let's say for example if they are using um, let's see here if they are using foreshare.com or mediafire.com these websites uh, usually are the direct link because these websites are um, hosting files. Uh, the reason why they are using this because um, they make money by when per download, I believe per download or maybe per per views. I'm not really sure, but this is a direct link. But in case um, the link is a shortened link let's say for example bitly or um, adfly something like that um, you cannot use that one the to make sure it is a direct link you need to first paste it paste it there and then when you enter it if you see there's no redirect or it won't change the URL then that is and it will automatically let you download the file then that is a direct link but if it um, changes the link or redirect to another tab or another URL then that is a shortened link only or a redirect link so what you want to do is to get the redirected link let's say for example if it, this is bitly this is bitly um, bit.ly and then when you enter it and it will redirect to 
the latest link and then that link enables you to download directly the file then that is the file that is the link that you wanna copy and paste it in here paste it in virus total because it is um it can check directly the file that you want to check with virus total let's refresh here but in case it doesn't work then the safest thing to do is to download the file and of course don't install it unless it's 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 showing no virus here and upload it instead to make sure so as you can see here in the um, from the URL it can read 87 files I'm not sure why loves whatsoever oops so it really is different from the files here so what I would recommend maybe is to download and then upload the file instead also before you do also tr also upload as well or um, check the URL so that you are safe to download or to click on the link if it's not showing virus then you can download the file and once you have downloaded the file then you can install it okay so that's um, that's my tip for um, using an old product or a GPL products but as told earlier if you can afford or you or you are using for this for production use or business never ever use um, null products okay so that's it so now let's go ahead and upload this one I will use this easy theme and uh, plugin upgrades because so that I don't need to um, delete the existing file there is this there is, is an existing plugin so because the native way is that if you want to change this if you want to change this I'm gonna have to deactivate and delete this one also this one so to save time just activate or download the easy theme and plugin upgrades and then you can just simply upload the plugin here and then it will just um, replace it it will replace it for you here let's go here and then we have to extract the, the zip file by the way I forgot so here's the free let's also extract this one let's try if it's okay we don't have to there's no zip file within there now let's drop the first link here but by the way guys before you change anything um, install theme remove um, change something remove a, remove a theme I mean remove a plugin sorry and then or replace it make sure you are you have backup your site already I haven't I have not backed up it, but I will do so after this because I've already installed it. Sorry, but I do have an automated backup in my cPanel, so that's fine.
Notice buffer expression function. Did notice there's an error. Upgrading the plugin. Stalled guys in case <laughs> it will not work. At least you have a backup already. Let's try to check here if it's already um, upgraded. It it is. So let's let's upload the other one. Which is Shucks. Not working, sorry. Okay. Upload. We belong together. Belong together. I believe the one here includes function, buffers, and expression. Require. I think this is backup or version of the plugin. Put it here. Okay. Plugin updated successfully. Go to plugin installer. I think this is this is just a warning or maybe um this is due to secure my security security module within the server i'm not really sure but we'll see if it gives an error on the site then we can um restore the old version instead so let's go ahead and find Now let's go back to the instruction. Install. Now activate. Go to WordPress dashboard Elementor license. Okay. So let's go to dashboard. Elementor license. And add this one. Only if it's not yet activated. So I believe it's already activated here. As you can see. Okay, so it's already activated. So it's pre-activated already. So that's fine. Never update the free version. Okay, it's said they are telling us that enable... 
disable auto update okay disabled already let's check out this one here as well okay and then let's go here to our uh, main WP let's go to our plugin here and Elementor so it's here and then it's saying that we need to ignore the updates. Oops. wrong i think it's not the right one that i did elementor Trusted, so we want to not trust this one. Active Elementor. Untrust. I just um guys set up the plugins to be to not auto update so I untrusted it and it should not or it sh should not auto update anymore from my main WP account so you can see here the ones that were that were tagged as trusted it will auto update but for those um tag as not trusted it won't be auto update the ignore status here if it's ignored meaning even if there's an update it will not show you that you have you are you will need to update the plugin okay if you tag it as ignored it will not show you it, it will not notify you but if you tag it as ignore then it will not 
um, it's a bit confusing, sorry. Um, you should be able to know it already. Um, if it's ignore, if its tag is ignored, then it will not notify you. If it's not, then it will notify you. The trusted one here, the trusted status here is it won't auto update. Okay. Even there's already um, a way to auto update the plugins here and in the main WordPress install in the dashboard. I still want to use the main WP way of updating because I can I can globally update all my plugins and themes here everything you can manage it I want to manage it in one dashboard already so that is why I use this plugin plugin deactivation settings to deactivate all the the auto updates as well so that I can only manage it within here also the clients <laughs> if you're not familiar with the main WP let me know if you want a tutorial for it I can make one for you So next one we will gonna have to exit on this one exit 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 and let's go back to our site to fix the current issues So now I believe we can already um, edit the archive. not loading so what's wrong here let's see because scripts okay let's try to enable safe mode here Oh, great. Okay guys, um, I've tried several ways to um, edit the archive here. Maybe I just, I just really don't know how to do it anymore. Um, based on how I did it the first time I, caught, I built this website, it doesn't show or it doesn't give me... Um, what I supposed to, what it is supposed to do, or so, th this this template here, it should be showing supposedly the featured image here, but it's not. Although it is here, 
so you can see when you open it it's here but it's not showing in the archive I'm not sure why I forgot maybe I forget how to edit it how to make it work but why is it that this is working and the others are not so and I think this is the one that we are using the new plugin for the featured image by URL and then this is the one that um, is using the old plugin but it's not showing right now because of we have deactivated the uh, old plugin so now what I'm gonna do is to use or restore the old plugin and see if that will help us help us show the the featured image within the archive okay so what i'm going to do is to deactivate the featured image by url the new one and then activate the old one here okay and then let's try to refresh it and by the way I forgot we have to um, set up the old this one the URL for the happy birthday I believe oh it's already there so let's see if it works the other ones are working all we have to fix now is the archive sizes it's here but it's not working for the archive I'm not sure why but because I want it I want a faster fix then we'll probably just use the old one here so I'm gonna I'm gonna wanna remove this one and set featured image. Where is it? Don't get URL from post content. Let's just try this. Don't get URL from post content. Now it's a bit better now. So let's see. Now it's showing. And the next thing we want to fix is this one. So let's go to our um, blog archive. Why is this, by the way?
let's enable safe mode because it's not working maybe there's a conflict with our other um plugins or maybe as well the theme what theme is this by the way i'm using let me check We belong together. Hmm. Okay, so it's Ocean WP. Supposedly, it's it's um supposedly this is supposedly the how it looks, but I don't know why it's not the same as that, which is why we we need to fix that issue. Um, also here, let me see. Vertical cards. I'm sorry. Oops. Read more. What if I will try to instead, let me check, maybe I'm gonna instead restore some blocks here, I'm gonna try to restore a block here. My templates blog. How about sir? Hey guys, what I did was, um, I have, um, launched a new blog archive template here and see if it fixes the issue. And if it, the, if, if, if it did, then we will instead use the new one. So this is, I believe, the, the new template here and this is the one that I've used that I've customized before so instead of um, spending time how to repair the issue here which is not um, good for me it's, it's not worth it for me so what I want to do is to instead copy the the format I have used from for this and I just adjust the new template here. 
which which I guess working right now there's no gray something issue like what I made before this is a customized customized um, archive by the way still did I still did um, use the standard ones which is this one but I don't know why it's not working and I have no time and but it depends upon you if you want to spend time figuring out troubleshooting then you can it you're free to do so but for me I have a lot of things to do um, later on so I don't want to spend my time fixing this just things like this maybe it's just outdated so what I'm gonna do is to instead recreate the archive I mean the cards and will that uh, then I can just use the new one here okay so that's how we will gonna fix this and let's see if if um, I'm boring you already um, hit the unlike button there hit the the downward um, like unlike so that I know that I'm boarding you ready okay I like it so kindly hit the the unlike um, icon there and if you're kind of enjoying this um, show here give me a thumbs up thank you and let's start um, editing my new cards let's go ahead and let's try to exit this one first let's exit this one first let me see okay how do we um disable this one it's a bit annoying but i, I have no choice um it's just showing there because i am i am using the disable face uh, the safe mode and if I disable it I believe I I wouldn't be able to to edit elementor anymore it's loading like forever which is why I need to enable the safe mode as you can see it's loading like forever Maybe I am na 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 Having problem loading elementary? Please enable safe mode to troubleshoot. Okay. I have no time to troubleshoot then. I'll just edit it with this annoying box here. No problem. So I want to probably just exit that one and also this maybe also this two exit that one and we will start from here okay so let's do this and let's first copy the copy the color so by the way guys I'm using um, this one color picker eyedropper if you're interested let me know and let's do it here where do we do that I believe it's style and the card and probably the content um, read more so it's here so it's already here so maybe we will need to click on here and then so why is this oops Jolly. Uh, 
Oops. I think it's done. Now the next thing we want to do is to copy the the content so cards, the style. What is the style of the content here? Typography, custom, railway. So maybe this is better, I believe. I'm not sure. Let's, let's try for the other, the meta. What is the meta? It's a default one. I think it's also really. And let's see for the no comments. I guess that's already okay. Really. Let's try this one. <laughs> Title railway, it's already railway, and then I think that's already fine. Um, let me check. Make it happen. This, let's see this one. So, railway 14. Okay, so now let's exit that one because I think this is already okay. And let's see if now let's check for the layout. So the layout will be image content. Page nation content cards. Where is that misery? Query all the posts. Try to preview. I believe there is a type of um, layout here. Where is that? Um, the one that is saying misery or whatever. I forgot how it is, how it is selected. So as you can see here, it, it, it's not what I really want. It should be supposedly um, should have um, spaces here and not this one. There should be something. I just forget how the layout. Let's see. Uh, position responsive. How do we do this? Structure. Nope. Style. Background divider. Nope. Maybe this one. Style. Same thing. Vertical line. Still no. The pure background border positioning. Oh my god. Where is that? Exit. Badge query. Where is this? Region. Hmm? Content. Really forgot.
Where can we find that, by the way, if we're popped? Hmm. Meta border, where is that? My gosh. That's probably just... Oh. Um, element, elementor, archive, post, misery. Let's see if that's theme builder icon. I really forget how so guys finally um we've fixed the issue here as you can see although it's not working right um it's not showing right here within the builder maybe because it's on safe mode but i've i'm just checking it out through the preview or the main um, main page literally and then I just adjust it that's the pain of using Elementor versus DV because DV is um, a bit better when it comes to visual editing and now it looks like it's fixed now and also the the footer here is already fixed as well uh, what we did earlier is that we only have, um, let's say for example, this one, it's not fixed earlier, right? So what I did was I just um, opened the footer and then I just re-updated. Same thing what, what happened with the post without the images. So that's it. And the next one that I, I'm going to fix is the ads here so because I have an ad here with AdSense but it's not showing as you can see it's not showing so maybe we're gonna we'll probably just duplicate it and then delete the first one let's just try and then delete the first one and it should and update it and we will see if it's if it it would work or not also here let's see
okay um so what i did now is i just created a new responsive add unit here and then i replace it for this um column and it should probably show later on three to five days i'm not sure it depends on um, adsense how they work already i'm not familiar with it since the last two years so now um next thing will be i'm going to update all of my pages and and also probably migrate this migrate this blog to my personal name and then I'm going to cre recreate the template for the Mawix website which will be my next project my, my next project for the business we will be um, dumping ideas in regards to um, in regards to making money online which is not commonly um, provided on the web I mean on the standard web but I will be showing you dark secrets from from the dark web so if you're interested then let's just um, subscribe and then we'll talk next time thank you for joining me and then bye for now